this video we are going to see about the addressing modes of 805 so addressing modes uh, is a method of addressing of operands and also data for an instruction so while we write 805 and instructions how we are going to provide the data uh, for the instructions to process that is called addressing modes okay so there are basically five type of addressing modes for 805 and microcontroller first one is immediate addressing mode second one is register addressing mode third one is direct addressing mode fourth one is register indirect addressing mode and fifth one is indexed addressing mode okay so these are the five important addressing modes of 8051 a lot of questions come from this area uh, sometimes they'll be asking how many types of addressing modes are, are there sometimes they'll be giving some type of instructions you have to find what type of addressing mode is it or uh, some other type of programming uh, snippets will be given to you and that type of questions can also come okay so a lot of questions will come from this area especially for competitive examinations okay so we are going to see about all these five type of addressing modes in detail first we are going to see about immediate addressing mode so the first type of addressing mode is immediate addressing mode okay so here we are going to pass on an immediate data which is ready to be processed consider that we want to add two numbers say uh, it is 0 af and 0 5 f h okay so we want to add these two numbers this is also hex value okay so in 805 and we do hexadecimal uh, processing right? the data will be in hexadecimal digitally so if we want to add two numbers and we are going to directly give this data which we want to actually add in one of the instructions or uh, via an instruction that is called immediate addressing mode okay so these are some type of immediate addressing modes here you can see the hexadecimal number is followed or is associated with a hash this hash indicates that these are data not address okay so this data is directly given in the instruction or uh, if you take a very basic example if you want one and two you are going to give one with one instruction and two with another instruction rather than fetching it from any other registers or that or anything or from memory we are directly giving this data to be added along with the instruction okay so that is called a immediate addressing mode and the most important thing is that if you are passing an immediate data it should be having a hash along with it okay only then it will be considered as a data otherwise it will be taken as an address location okay so that is one important thing to be noted so in the case of our immediate addressing mode the data is provided with the instruction itself okay so you can see here three examples move a hash 0 af means this data is getting moved to the accumulator also move r3 there is a register r3 comma hash 45 h means we are going to pass this data to the r3 register also to the data pointer register we can pass that is a 16 bit data okay so we'll be passing that so these type of movement or this type of addressing mode is called immediate addressing mode the data is directly given along with the instructions okay so that is the immediate addressing mode the addressing mode is a register addressing mode here either the source or the destination data is present in the registers r0 to r7 we know that there are registers r0 to r7 organized as various register banks actually so here source or destination can be register okay so these are the some examples of uh, register addressing mode here you can see for the first instruction move a comma r5 means the value of r5 that is whatever data is present in r5 we are going to pass that to a okay so here we have to remember that the data present in r5 is getting moved to accumulator okay here this is also register addressing mode because we are passing 45 which is an immediate value but it is pass getting passed to the register r2 so it is again called a register addressing mode itself because here the destination is a register so either source or destination 
can be registers. In that case, we call it as a register addressing mode. Here you can see the data of accumulator is moved to R0. Again, the destination is a register. So, it is called a register addressing mode. So, for register addressing mode, you have to remember that either source or destination should be present in registers R0 to R7. So, that is called a register addressing mode. The next addressing mode is the direct addressing mode. Here, the source or destination address is specified and from that address we are going to take the data. Okay, so that is the, that is direct addressing mode. That is directly we are going to give the address of either source or destination. Okay, so consider the first instruction here. Move ATH, comma R6. Okay, so we are going to move the data present in R6 to the memory location ATH. So, ATH actually refers to your port 0. So, there are four ports, port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. There are four ports for 8051 and port 0 addresses ATH. So, we are going to pass on the content or the data present in register R6 to ATH which is port 0. So, we are going to pass on that to port 0 and port 0 is not uh, given uh, in any other way but the address is given here. So, you can see here since they are address there is no hash associated with the hexadecimal bit or the data. Okay. So, this is address locations. So, that is why there is no hash. So, first one is likewise. The next instruction move R2 comma 45H. So, 45H is the address location here. In from that address location, we are going to take the data and we are going to pass on to the register R2. The third one is also similar to the second one, but only the difference is the address we are going to take is 05H. From this address location, consider there is an address location 05H. From that, the data we are going to take and pass to R0 register. Okay. So, that is called direct addressing mode. Here we are directly giving the address locations from which we will be taking the data. The fourth addressing mode is register indirect addressing mode. It is somewhat uh, connected with the direct addressing mode. In direct addressing mode, we have directly given the address location. But here, the address location is given in some register which will be specified in your instruction. Okay, so we'll take the first instruction, which is move a comma at R1, right? So consider that the value present in R1 is equal to 30H. So this 30H is a address location. So the 30H is actually the address location from where we are going to take the data and we are going to pass that to the accumulator register. So, that is actually been done using move a comma at R1. Okay. So, we have not directly given 30H here, but this 30H we are going to store in another register R1, which we will be specifying in the instruction. Okay. So, the 30H or the address location from where we want to take the data is stored in a register and that register is given in your instruction. So, that is called register indirect addressing mode. Okay. So, move a comma at R1 and R1 is having the address location from where we want to take the data. Okay. Similarly, this can also be done for the destination, right? So, move at R1 ATH. So, we are going to ATH is actually the it, it is a address location of port 0. So, we are going to take the data from port 0 and we are going to move that data to the address location which is given in register R1. Okay. So, that is called register indirect addressing mode. Here, we are not directly specifying the address location from where we are taking the data, but instead, we are storing that address location in some other registers and then we are referring the address location via the registers in the instruction. Okay. So, that is register indirect addressing mode. 
the last addressing mode is in-text addressing mode. Before discussing details about the in-text addressing mode, there are two things to be noted. First one is that always the destination is a accumulator. Okay, so when we are writing an instruction, consider there is a move instruction, move A, comma R1. Here this A is the destination, R1 is the source. Okay, so that is a very basic thing. So you should be knowing that. And for index addressing mode, destination is always accumulator register. And another important thing is that here the source memory can only be accessed from the from program memory. So this is actually moving of some programs or program memory is accessing the source memory. So that's why we are using move C or move code. Earlier we are uh, earlier uh, examples were just move. So that was movement of data but this is move code so it is a program memory access okay now what is index addressing mode here you can see for the source side we are writing at a plus pc okay consider that a is having 30h and pc is having some 1500h okay so this is the address location or uh, this is the value present in program counter and accumulator is having 30x. So the first thing is we are going to sum these two values. Okay, we'll take another value for this one. Okay, we'll take uh, 1004H. Okay, a random number I'm taking. So this PC is having 1004H and a is having 30h okay so first we'll be adding these two values and then that result is the address location from where we are going to take our data okay so for this case it is 1034h right and this is the address location so we have added the value present in accumulator and also in program counter and then we have obtained some result and that result is actually the address location from which we are going to move the contents to the accumulator okay so that is called a index addressing mode and similarly we can do this same with dptr also that is the content of dptr and accumulator is added and then we'll be getting a resultant memory location from where we are going to shift the contents to the accumulator register okay so this is called indexed addressing mode okay so these are the five addressing modes which 8051 generally use there are also some other uh, addressing modes but the most commonly used and most commonly asked ones are these five addressing modes okay so that are register addressing mode uh, first one is immediate addressing mode, then register, direct, register, indirect, and last one is index addressing mode. Okay, so these are the addressing modes. You can expect a lot of questions from this area. Uh, some uh, codes or instructions will be given. You have to find which uh, addressing mode is it. So likewise, a lot of questions can come from this area. So it is very important. And I really hope that you understood uh, about the addressing modes. And if yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video maximum with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel and you can find the notes on uh, our Facebook page. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.